Mbali na hayo mtazamaji kamati ya bunge kuhusu uwekezaji imewaagiza maafisa wa Wizara ya Ardhi pamoja na tume ya Ardhi kufika mbele yake kutoa mwanga kuhusu umiliki wa ardhi ambayo jumba la mikutano ya KICC limejengwa. Sasa mawaziri Ali Swahome, Katibu Mkuu Nixon Kori, Korir na mwenyekiti wa tume ya Ardhi Geshum Otachi kutoa mwanga kuhusiana na ardhi hiyo. Mwenyekiti wa kamati hiyo David Kosing Aida anasisitiza muhimu wa kutatua swala la umiliki wa ardhi hiyo na hatimiliki yake ambao kufikia sasa imesalia kizungumkuti tare mkaguzi wa hesabu za umma alifichua kuwa hatimiliki ya hiyo haijanakiliwa chini ya KSCC bali wizara ya utalii na ambayo ilihamisha kwa serikali ya kaunti ya Nairobi licha ya kuwa jengo la kitaifa chini ya serikali kuu thing is you are leaving this valuers to exploit Kenya so you need to work out on that issue of how will this report particularly for public land how will you eventually be a custodian what i told you earlier that we had few government valuers in terms of verification for example then it means someone could have also done some dirty job there and then brings it to the director of value evaluation then it is it is approved then you will have carried actually you will have actually tagged along a director who is an innocent person who doesn't know what happened on the ground because unless we have more power uh, more uh, more more capacity for example to verify because that in essence will mean chair uh, as a survey will just do comparison of the documents documents speaks to themselves it's boundary to boundary it, with buildings uh, uh, without buildings that's the valuation of this actually an, on unimproved sites because now buildings vary there is someone who has gone and uh, bought their materials from Turkey. Mm. And they say my building is more expensive because my stones are from a, a, a machine cut. And the one machine, stones are not machine cut. So we, do the, we actually do the average value of the land in various sections of the county and develop now what is called a variation rule, which is supposed to be updated every 10 years. That is supposed to help the government. When the government wants to acquire land, they know the average value of the land. Or when they want to, an investor wants to lease land then they know the average value of leasing so we are developing that variation of of course it has its own challenges uh, honorable chair because value of land changes because of many aspects a value of land right now in one corner may be a million shillings but immediately a road is done just a road a tarmac road is done that value triples